Hello Pisces and thanks for joining me for the April 2018 Tarot Scope and Animal Totem cards. As always we're going to use, these are both my own creations, the Beast, uh, Rock and Roll Tarot deck for the re main portion of the reading. And then we're going to pull a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, also my own creation. I can't find the cover picture for it so we're just going to go ahead and roll on. Um, I have other stuff, this and other stuff you can find on my website if you'd like to purchase it for yourself. Um, now we had the Equinox last month, but I'm actually, when I'm recording this reading, it's yet to come. It occurs on March 20th, uh, 2018, and I did speak about it in the March readings. But since then, um, I'm offering a reading, an Equinox reading, or a spring, you know, seasonal reading. Because I have... Since I've been doing astrology, I've always run a chart for the equinox. You know, I, right now I post a new and full moon. I never did that till YouTube. Uh, but the equinox chart is a very powerful um, look at what's going on and how it's affecting you in a kind of a predictive um, segment over the next few months, over the next season, which, uh, you know, the, the vernal equinox um, ushers in the, the, the season, which in, of course, is... For many of us, it's the spring in the northern hemisphere, but it's also the fall in the, in the southern. It matters not, but we look at this and we apply it to your chart in a double wheel. I should actually probably try to show that, right? Well, anyway, so I'm offering that as a reading. Um, yeah, the vernal equinox is, is going to be over in April, but the effects of it still is happening, so that's why it's still a valid thing. Honestly, I didn't think of it, because I was thinking about, you know, I haven't run that vernal equinox chart. Um, I used to do that all the time, and I just ran one for myself. I'm like, this is such a great, uh, this is such a great reading. I'm like, why don't I? Um, this is what it looked like. So it'll look like. Uh, hopefully, you can see. It'll look like uh, your chart in the middle and the equinox chart around, and then I'll talk about it. And it's it's a psychic reading, um, but it's. Um, it's also astrology. And then at the end of it, I will also pull a um, animal totem. So this is a limited time uh, offer. I'm going to let it roll until at least the w first week of April, and then I'll probably I'll stop it uh, again. So if you want to check it out, um, it's a good reading. It's one that I've used for years and years for myself, and um, just never thought of offering it for clients. Not, not, not really sure, no particular reason why. Just never did. So... Okay, these are your cards. We're getting your cards out it's for our Pisces friends for April. Oh, oh I got two. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I had two. I need one card for Pisces for April. There it is. Okay. Well, I'm, oh, there was one hidden. Oh, I love when that happens. Look, there was one hidden under there. Woo! <laughs> I didn't know it till I went to go move the card, so we had a hidden, uh, a hidden card there. So I'm going to put it like this, because that's why I feel like it wants to be. Well, there's a lot. I'm getting a lot from this already, so let's get right into it. Um, let me say this first, because this came out so strong. Don't be a chicken shit. <laughs> this just came out so strong. There's some major opportunity that could be showing up for you right now. And you might, this is if you chicken out. That's what I get big time. You know, the Three of Swords obviously is not a card of happiness and joy. It's a card of heartbreak, sorrow, and so on. But, you know, it's like don't be a chicken. You got to go for it. You got to go for the gusto. You got to grab it. There's this big decision that has to be made. And I feel like it's not an outside person. It doesn't appear to be an outside person anywhere in here. It's you. It's within you. It's within you. It all comes down to you. Yeah. That's a good one. What what is that? That's Joni Mitchell. But that's what I'm getting. It all comes down to you. And I write that for your mantra. Because um, look at what we've put. What's on either side? If we when I when I moved this card, it was like this, right? And I moved it, and it was like this, basically. So let's take a look at these three things. You know, you've got spirit advising you all over the place here. All you have to do, now this sometimes can be like, oh, you don't see the answer, maybe you don't, but sometimes it's like, shut out the outside world. Shut out, don't be going and asking your neighbor and asking your auntie and everybody and their brother, what, I, what should I do, what should I do? It all comes down to you. 
turn all that outer world out and go within. Because there are angels and guides are on either side of you. This is so freaking awesome. These are both cards of spirit guides, angels, and they're talking to you. And it was hidden. That, that was the crazy thing. The star card was hidden. So the answer is probably hidden from you right now, but it's still there. It's still within your grasp. And you as the Pisces, now you know that, you know, you guys are... You're very intuitive. All Pisces are very intuitive. All Pisces are old souls. So you can tap into that on your own. If nothing else, ask for a dream. If, it, if it's just not coming for you, ask for a dream. Ask for a sign. Ask for a sign. And it's so crazy how these signs will just show up. I've, I've been having some really crazy signs lately. And um, you never know when you're asking somebody else, too, if they don't have a... Especially like a friend, you know, not to get a reading from a, a reader... But if, if, they, if you have a friend or somebody, they all have their personal agenda, you know. That can sometimes come into play. Or they want you to stay, be like them, or their personal opinion, or stay with the group. This is a chance to break out of a group and into another group. It's a leap. It's a leap and it's a change. And it's a breakthrough. There could absolutely be a breakthrough here for you. A victory. I feel like in some level you, you can't believe it's so cool that it's so good. Is this really happening? I can't believe it. And you might shun it for that reason. Now this card is in reverse, but it, upright it's this poverty card. It's like, oh no, I'm not good enough. Or oh, I can never have that. Or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm destined to be of this lowly, I'm a poor per I'll always be poor, I'll always be this or that, you know. There, yeah, I, like you don't dare to dream. But in this way, it's saying you're, you're shedding that. And Spirit's totally trying to help you shed that. That's what's going on big time here. They're trying to help you shed this. You've got a decision to make. It's, it's, I was going to say it's not going to fall in your lap, but it almost is. It's being handed to you on a silver platter. You know, maybe I, I'm going to say that. Um, it's being handed to you on a silver platter. Because that's really what it feels like. Handed to you on a silver platter. Handed to you... I'll try writing on the, where there's a hole, the crack on the table is. <laughs> on a silver platter. If I just put silver platter off, I should remember. Did you guys seem to like those little, you know, those little things that I put in the beginning, but half the time I forget them. I, I, all the time I forget them if I don't write them down. So there's some big thing here. I feel like it's such a big change. It, but it's such a big change, it's like you're stepping into a new world. There's an opportunity to step into a new world. For a lot of you, it's going to be some kind of career thing because there's definitely some money involved here, some increase of money that comes along with this increase of letting go of fear, you know. This is here, and it just feels like you can't... I'm reminded of the, the Sally Field um, Oscar speech. You like me, you really like me, you know. It's like you can't believe that... Um, you know, you're, you're moving on up to the big time from the Jeffersons, you know. You can't believe that you're actually going to be, you're taking it to the next level and you're actually there. Because I think you've dreamt about it and dreamt about it and dreamt about it, but you're, you know, then these little doubts and worries come in, oh no, well, yeah, that would, but I'm not for, I can't really do that. Well, yeah, you really can. And um, be open to all avenues, you know. Um, because spirit was hiding there. There's something about that that was hiding, that something was hidden. You know, something that was hidden could come to light. Or you could just have like an inkling about something. You know, you could kind of have this little, a feeling of it, but then dismiss, oh no, that's crazy, you know. Um, if it's just like beyond your wildest dream, it's like dare to dream. That's another really good one, dare to dream. Um, and make the decision to go for it. I think that's all you have to do is make the decision for go to go for it. This the Ace of Swords too. A lot of times is beyond hope. You know, beyond all hope. Like something that seemed like it was so impossible, and boom, it, it actually do, it happens. And this is a time when this kind of stuff could really happen for you, Pisces. This is uh, talking about building something, building the future. Somebody, maybe somebody's looking at your work. It's, it's a body of work that you've built, or you're building a new life. Um, for some of you, somebody's looking at your stuff here. It, this could almost be like, a, a good scenario would be like a gallery show or something, if you're an artist, you know. Like maybe you've been showing in these smaller galleries, and then there's some big place that wants to, you know, 
or a big collector or a museum that wants to show your work and they're looking it over, you know, they're looking it over. And um, for some of you, if it's something like this, if it's somebody that's looking over your stuff and is going to use it, it could be a lot of things. Maybe it's a, you know, I, I relate it to like art and music, or maybe it's a piece of music that you wrote and it's going to be used in some big movie or, you know, where you would receive a lot of royalties or something like that. Some of the big people here are looking it over. Let it, accept it, because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a door, it's a opening of a door, okay? Accept it and allow it. Don't be stickler. What if they say, you know, because I feel like for some people this is going to be like, well, you know, well, I, I, other people are getting such and such this amount of dollars to do this kind of gig. So if it's not, if I don't get what they get, then, I, you know, laying down these um, hard-lined, you know, oh, no, it's got to be this way. Let it be how it's going to be because it's going to lead to a lot more. Yeah, so let's just take that scenario of the, like, say you're going to be on a national television spot or something, and they're only going to pay you X amount of dollars. You're going to go, wait, I should get so many royalties and blah, blah, blah. Take the deal. Take the deal because it's an op a, a door opening to even bigger, better, more things, you know. You're, you'll be exposed to a national audience or whatever, you know. So it's definitely take the deal. Don't be a stickler about, well, this or this or that, you know, because if you, you could screw it up. Either by fear or by, well, if, you, if you're, or by greed. Don't be greedy. Take what's offered. Take what's being offered and be grateful for it. Know that it's sent blessings. We have, you know, spirit and guides and stuff have sent it to you, and, and it's definitely a blessing. Okay, let's go ahead and get our card for our animal totem. Well, Ant flew over, but I got a whole stack of them here. You may want to take Ant and look it up, but I'm going to wait till I only have one card. Um, I don't want more than one. The squirrel. You know, squirrel and ant are kind of similar from an esoteric point of view. Squirreling away, you know, and the ants are squirreling away. Their breadcrumbs back to the nest, and the squirrels burying his nuts everywhere, you know, squirreling away stuff. Uh, but it's abundance to me. Squirrel is always an abundant card for me. Plentifulness, frolic and play. Yeah, frolic and play. Enjoy this moment. Don't screw it up, <laughs> okay? Accept the, the gift for what it is and be in gratitude and say thank you. Uh, planting seeds for future prosperity. Yeah, absolutely. If this is money involved here, which for a lot of you I think it is, so what if you're not getting the top dollar right out the gate? You you got your foot in the door and there's much more to come. The floodgates are opening. That's what I kept trying to say about the doorway before. The floodgates are opening. That might be a good one too to put down. Uh, floodgates are opening. Uh, but finishing off but what I wrote about squirrel. Moving with balance, grace, and speed. Yes. Healing through grounding in the earth. Yes. Stay grounded. Um, but this thing being hidden, also that it's hidden, it could just be hidden from you. You know, it could be that you're not listening to it. You're not hearing it. Don't seek your answers outward. It's going to come from within you. Spirit guides and angels are laying something in your path. A destiny thing is going to show up. And, um, you know, and just because it's a destiny, you see all these big things and it's like, oh, wow, I'm going to get hit in the face with this thing. Sometimes it's not, especially because it's spiritual and hidden and stuff. Sometimes it's real subtle and you got to, you got to have your feelers up. Like, uh, my favorite Martian, when he put, <laughs> he put his antennas up, you know, get those antennas up. That almost, that's kind of what this sword, these swords look like to me. Remember that show? Uh, uh and he, and these little things would come out. So it's like, yeah, get your psychic feelers tuned on and tuned in there and, and feel and, and get that message. Be aware. Be looking for it. You know, it, it may not be. It, it, it's likely not going to be with, with the star hidden, something that's just so, you know, obvious. It, it, it hardly ever is, you know. <laughs> it's just like you gotta you got to just kind of be in that flow. Because both of these, look too, they have the water, you know, the water in the cups and the water coming from the chalices or the vases or whatever those are, the urns. So, and you being the Pisces, you know. So get in that flow, listen, be aware, get your feelers up. 
be more about having your feelers up than listening to everybody else telling you what, what they think you should do. Because what they think you, you should do is stay where they're at. <laughs> you know, that's what they want you to do. Okay, Pisces, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you, I have all this stuff you can find on my website. There is that Equinox reading. It'll be a limited time. It's astrology, but it's a psychic reading. And then we pull a... Um, because it's it's so timed, you know, it's timed in, and astrology is the best way to do timing. Um, it's timed in for the season, and then we pull an animal totem card for you for the season two. It'll be available till possibly the first week in April or so. Um, but it's, the reading is good for the whole season until we get to the um, equinox in the summer or winter, you know, solstice, I should say, solstice. So it's good from April, May, and June. Okay. Thank you for everything else you do by liking, sharing, commenting. Some of you said you can't find me, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss a forecast. Uh, thank you so much. Remember, you are Love and Beauty Incarnate. Have a great month of April. Bye.